Uh, my two all here against Lulatano. Uh, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, well, for me, it's first of all, it's the first time I came to Portugal. It was a, a big experience for me. And um, as my agent told me, there's no easy game. So when I came in here, my main objective was first to score before anything happens, then to win the game as well. And I scored, but unfortunately, we didn't win the game. But we, it was a good performance. Yeah. I guess that's that's for you. Goals is, is the aim, isn't it? And you've got two so far this pre-season. Oh, yes, yes. Um, my aim is to like to have a double figure. Yes, yeah. I won't tell the number I'm, I'm planning to have, but definitely to score goals because that's what that's what they got assigned me. Yeah. It's not just goals as well. You you certainly made yourself a, a nuisance this uh, this evening. Oh yes, yes. Um, well, it wasn't easy because I had to occupy the two centre backs, uh, which I think I did. But um, yeah, and even if I don't score, he told me. The most important is to get some opportunities as a striker. Yeah. So it can happen not to score, but you have to get the opportunity, hold the ball well. You have to like your players have to trust you. So um, yeah. And you could tell how much it meant to you scoring here as well with the celebration. Oh yes. Um, well, in the afternoon, I when we went for recovering the pool at the hotel. There were some fans, some little kids that told me if I had to, if I scored, and they wanted me to do the flush. <laughs> and I told them, okay, I'll do that if I score. So I had to do it because it was a bet, and I'm a man of my word. So yeah. <laughs> and what does it mean to you to have um, those Wrexham supporters um, singing your name? Oh, it means a lot. It means a lot. It gives me that extra bit of energy I need because, <clears throat> as I said, um, fans are the 12 men. So we're 11 in the pitch. You can encourage, we can encourage each other, but when you hear another voice from the outside, it gives you that extra bit of adrenaline, so it really, really helps. And I guess that's um, a big part of this trip, is that the supporters and the players have had a real bond, haven't they? And it, it, again, as you say, it gives you that lift. Oh yes, yes, definitely. We definitely need them during the, um, during the season. Pre-season, yes, um, it's true, the season hasn't yet started, but there's no easy game because the goals, they have to start from here, I have to start getting the momentum and the, the reflex. Same as the players, same as everybody. So if the supporters start right now, then during the season, if they continue, they will be a good one. So yeah. Um, how have you found the um, step up to playing full-time football as well? Obviously, you, you've come here and you're now signed professional terms. Oh yes, um, well, I, before joining Halifax, by the end of last season, I was at Geisley, yeah, yeah. Uh, which and they were part, they were full-time when I went there. So um, it took some time to adapt yeah. when I was there, yeah. but after it was it was alright. And then I went to Halifax, which were um, part-time. Yeah. Then coming back here to full-time football, I really enjoy it because. The more you train, the more you, your fitness improves, yeah. which is really important for me, especially where I want to go. So, yeah. yes, so the full time, definitely. Are you looking forward to going back to, uh, to North Wales now after we jet back off from Portugal? Oh, yes, well, if we can spend again a couple of days here, that would be lovely to be because the place is really nice, um, the infrastructure is really beautiful, um, and the, the people are quite welcoming. But yeah, we have to get back to work, don't we? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Uh,